the men that are came to Jerusalem at this time. The word of the Most High. That's right. You see? Everybody with me? Uh -huh. Conversation of the Most High. Speaking to us to what? Read verse 4. Acts chapter 2 verse 4. I, I'm going here because in the churches they take you here and say you got to be filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking tongues. Right, right. They take you here. Right. But we're going to see that they really shouldn't go here when you have the true understanding of what they're saying. But let's read. Especially telling you that you're a Gentile. <laughs> but let's continue to read. Acts chapter 2 verse 4. Uh-huh. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were all filled with what? With the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. Read. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So now listen. They began to speak with other tongues, which is other languages, which the Spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, gave them utterance. Gave them the ability to be able to speak. Just like if someone came in here right now and I say, oh, hey, mom, 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 you got to speak to them in Spanish. Because you know how to speak Spanish. Or well, they speaking English. They speaking French. Those that speak a different language. They speaking Hebrew. We're going to speak these languages to our men. As it's saying, read. Verse 5. And there came dwelling at Jerusalem Jews. Who? Jew. Who? Jew. Gentiles. Jew. Other nations. Jew. Jews. Read. Devout men. These are spiritual men. Read. Out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation under heaven. It's very important to understand that these were Jews. These were Israelites that came from all these different places under the heaven. Not everyone. Not all nations. But there were who? Jews, devout men of every nation under heaven at this time. Read. Verse 6. Now when this was noise the brought, the multitude came together and were confounded. It was confused. Read. Because that every man heard them speak in his own tongue, in his own language. It, every man heard them speak in his own language, his own, his own tongue, his own, come on in, his own language. In his own language. Everybody heard him speak in his own language. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's the miracle. They was confounded. They were confused. Because the Holy Spirit had gave them what to utter, what to say. To these Jews, these Israelites, like who we are. That's Not right. everyone. But they were Jews. It's very important that you hear this because this is how our people have been brain polluted. And not knowing. But now we're going to know, right? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Verse 7, Acts chapter 2. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Gal Galileans? Galileans? So what's going on here? That's why they were confused. They said, wait a minute. Are not all these men Galileans? Read. Really? And how here we every man in our own tongue were in we were born. So you, know, you know, Jews, the Israelites came in the Feast of Weeks, the Feast of Ingathering, now called the Feast of Pentecost. The uh -huh. same feast, right? Uh -huh. 50 days after the Passover. The same feast that we're honoring now, today. Uh -huh. You see? And this is when the Holy Spirit came and endowed them with spiritual power. That's what my chapter Shai said. You're going to be endowed with spiritual power. After that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And you see the miracle that's happening right now. He said, how is it? How they, these men are Galileans. Right. How are they speaking in all these different languages? Right. To edify all of us Israelites, mm -hmm. Hebrew Israelites that have come from different parts of the world. And that's going to give you where they came from. Right. This is what we're scattered in. Because we're scattered among all these nations. Like we're scattered among all the nations now. But read. Verse 9, Acts chapter 2. Parthians. Parthians. That's where we came from, read. And Medes. Medes, read. And Elamites. Elamites, East Indians, read. And the dwellers in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, read. And in Judea. Judea, read. And Cappadocia. Cappadocia. In Pontus. Pontus, read. And Asia. We're in Asia, read. Phrygia. Phry and, that's that's uh, Phrygia. Phrygia. Uh -huh. 
and Pamphylia, and Pamphylia mm -hmm. in Egypt. It was in Egypt also. And in the parts of Libya. North Africa. About Cyrene. Cyrene, read. And strangers of Rome. Strangers of Rome. We were in Rome, read. Jews and proselytes. Jews and proselytes, read. Cretes and Arabians. We were just we hanging out with Ishmael too. <laughs> just like we call ourselves Americans. I mean, come on, don't get it twisted now. Right, right. Get verse five, read verse five again. So y'all say Arabians. Are we Arabians? Uh -huh. Read verse five. Who came there? Acts chapter two, verse five. Uh -huh. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. Who? Jews. Who? Jews. Who? Jews. No, Arabians. Jews. Ishmaelites. Jews. Just said Jews. Israelites. You understand? So just like we call ourselves different names now. I mean. If they follow the, if you follow where the heathen, you might as well call yourself the name of them heathens, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's that learn that to where the heathen. That's well, here we are, all been, come on. Are we calling ourselves as a people named after the heathens? Right. Call yourself. You can't tell you call yourself African American. <laughs> come on. Right. African named after heathen. New Zealand South Dakotas, American named after not heathen. America West Lucy. Right? John. You call yourself Mexican, you call yourself whatever it is name that they have us called by, they named us that. We are the holy tribes of the most high chosen people. The true ethnic and biblical Jews. We all come from the waters of Judah. You see? But we 12 nations <coughs> that make up one nation. Okay? Uh, and that's who came in all these different lands, man. So what it say, Arabia, that's just talking about we live in the places where Ishmael was. Right. Who's the father of the Arabs, you see? We're calling ourselves by those names. That's why you read Corinth, those are Israelites. God. In the land of Corinth. Philippians, those are Israelites living in the land of Philippi. And when you go to the first verse, it proves it. It proves it to our power. Most I say the power who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is my name forever, the memorial to all generations. So he said, the saints who the saints, Psalms 148, 14. I mean, it's going to tell you, to the saints. James 1 and 1 says, to the 12 tribes of Israel that are, that are scattered abroad. Now, you just see, we came from all these different lands, right? So when you go, go to, uh, give you an example of, go to 1 Peter 1 and 1. Peter, the head apostle. And look what he's saying. Now, you see all these lands. We can go back and forth. We never go back and forth due to time strength. But you can see all the lands that we just read about that we came from, kind of. Right, right. Look at First Peter 1 and 1. Listen to that Peter as he dropped it to who he's going to drop it to. The books are addressed to someone, and it's the Israelites. Read. First Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Come. Peter, the apostle of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, uh -huh. to the strangers scattered throughout. Pontus. Was not Pontus on the left? One of the names that was named of us? Right. Where we came from? Right. Pontus, read. Galatia. Galatia. These are strangers. Like we are someone that come in, like our brother here. He's a stranger. And welcome, brother. You know what I mean? The brother uh -huh. here. But he's still Israelite, see? Uh -huh. right. See what I'm saying? Welcome. You know what I mean? But he's still our brother, right? Uh -huh. God? That's right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what it's all about. This is what he said. Okay, he came, he could have came there during the time of Feast of Pentecost. See what I'm saying? But this is who Peter's talking about. Strangers that we didn't know. A stranger is someone you don't know. Don't get it twisted now. Right, right. When you come to the Bible, you open up the Bible. Oh, that's a stranger. Strangers all talking about the other nations. No. <laughs> we just read about the strangers. Same brothers that were Jews that were came from all these different lands. Read. Pontus. Pontus is named, read. Galatia. Galatia, read. Cappadocia. Cappadocia's name, read. Asia. Asia, read. And, Bith and Bithynia. 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 What does it say? Elect. What? Elect. Who? Elect. So is elect all nations? Guess who the elect is? Ah, let's see where you, who the thinkers are. Don't call it out. Let's, let me see if y'all know who the elect are. Let's see if we be able to get that right fast. One scripture. By hand. Mirror. Ah, uh, you slow. I got it, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4. Cut! For Jacob, my servant, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect. There it is! Cut! Cut! Yeah, that's right. Uh, Israel, my elect. So it says elect. And that's how you look at breaking down.
down the Bible for who it's talking to and what it's talking about through the precepts. You get understand through the precepts, you see? God? Yeah, it is. So, and that's that's when the Holy Spirit came and defined the Holy Spirit in Isaiah 11 chapter, the second verse. So you understand, it ain't, it ain't run around the church like a chicken with your head cut off. Oh, oh, I got the Holy Ghost. Oh, oh, oh. Follow it all around and all that. No, that's not the Holy Spirit. That's not the Holy Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit defined. The Holy Spirit is what? The Spirit of the Most High. The uh -huh. Spirit. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. Huh. And the Spirit of the Most High mm -hmm. shall rest upon him. The Spirit of the Most High shall rest upon him. What's the, what's the Holy Spirit? The Spirit of Wisdom. It's the Spirit of the Most High. Hey, can I get someone to fire up the pieces? And understanding. And understanding. Get the, uh, just the, the urine that's in there. Whatever. For you. It's in there. I got some. You got, huh? I got you. Talking about the, uh, the incense. I got some. All right, let's fire it up. What is it? The spirit of, of the most high shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. You got some burning? I got some in there. So, uh, handle. The spirit of counsel and might. This is what the Holy Spirit is defined as. Do you get that when you run around the church with a chicken, like a chicken with his head cut off? Do you get this? I'm just saying. They say, all you got to be filled with the Holy Ghost is speaking tongues. This is the definition of the Spirit of the Most High. Read it from the top. It's Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. Come on. And the Spirit of the Most High shall rest upon him. The Spirit of the Most High shall rest upon him. What's the Holy Spirit? The Spirit of Wisdom. The Spirit of Wisdom, which is the proper application of knowledge. Read. And understanding. And understanding. Read. The spirit of Counsel. The spirit of Counsel. Read. And Might. And Might. Read. The Spirit of Knowledge. The spirit of Knowledge. Read. And of the Fear of the Most High. And of the Fear of the Most High. See, that's the definition of the Holy Spirit. So that's what they received because what were they bringing? They were bringing knowledge to the brothers that came from all the different lands that the Mashiach Yavashai, through the Spirit of the Most High, had brought to them to tell the brothers as they would learn and they would go to their places. You see? I'm going to let that work out. Uh, it's a, no, I'm going to put it on top of there. It's, it's, it's that thing that we use for... Uh, 